If you're looking for more tips on how to make your updos stronger and last longer, then keep watching because that's what this week is all about. Welcome back to the updo coach. This week we are all about how to make your updos stronger and last longer. So I'm showing you three ways to start an updo to make sure that they last all day and the anchor is so strong the hair is going to stay in place. Our first anchor is if you were working with somebody's hair that was like this that has a bit more of a dome shape so if you're going to go for a messy updo, something on the side or in something that's in the form of a bun. So if you're working with a slightly finer this is a great way to build up the shape and to create volume um, and building as you go through. So you would create an anchor that is hidden underneath and within the style. This is as if we were gonna go on a side do, so we're just going just behind the ear and creating a bobble section. And it's literally a ponytail that's just hidden underneath within the style. Now you wanna make sure that the bobble section isn't tight, but not too loose. So you want it to be comfortable, but you don't wanna be creating too much tension because that is just gonna make it really, really uncomfortable for your client. And over the top of that, you can create some padding and everything to build your hair on top of, which will make your bun shape look much bigger. Second anchor that we're gonna create is as if we were doing something that was a bit more of a roll. So you can have a vertical roll or a horizontal roll, and that might be textured or smooth, depending on what it was. For this, you would do hair grips, and the hair grips need to work in a crisscross section like this. And what you will do, you can again take out a section across the top if you want to build up any volume for a finer hair type. And you're going to work slightly in, so like an inch from the hairline, taking the hair down, hold the hair against the head, take the hair grip along the scalp and across the top of the hair. And we're going to push one hairpin in and then take another one across that section. So we're going halfway along the hair grip, taking the hairpin up. And then we're gonna take another one down. You want to be opening the hairpins. So the hairpin follows along the skin of the head and then the top comes and takes in the hair in place into the center. And if you take one in the opposite direction when you've finished, and that will just make sure that this anchors and it's not moving around. And then you will see that if you try, if you need to bring this up and fold this over, that this isn't lifting away from the head. You'll know if you've not got this grip placement right because these will move away from the head and it won't be secure. Finally, the third anchor is if you were working with somebody that you were gonna do something like a cascade. And this is where you would use a braid. So you can start from the top of the crown, creating any shape in that area that you like, and then just work through with a braid. This is good also if you want to hide a section where your veil can grip into on a bridal hair. So you could put a small braid underneath here or a small bobble section, and that would give your um, fine hair something to grip into. this into a bobble section then you can curl these sections and build those over the top and this will give you something to anchor any hairpins and any of your hair sections into those are my three techniques on how to create a stronger updo don't forget to check out the other video on creating a stronger curl which will also work really really well with this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for more future videos if there's anything you would like to see please let me know in the comments and come find me over on instagram the updo coach i will see you on next week's video